a lot of you guys have been recommending to us down in the comment section that we should go and check out the neighborhood of Kampung Baru. Now we did some research online and learned pretty fast that this is one of the last places in Kuala Lumpur to actually experience authentic Malaysian culture. So this is exactly why we are here today. We're going to see what this place is all about, maybe have some amazing Malaysian food that is typical and authentic for this region and learn a little bit more about this beautiful neighborhood. Now we literally just took a quick grab from our Airbnb in Ampang and we drove through the hyper-developed city of Kuala Lumpur. It's really crazy to step out of that grab car into this, an incredibly local feeling neighborhood that is nestled in the center of such a developed and futuristic looking city. It is really, really special to see the stark contrast between here and all of these crazy looking skyscrapers that are surrounding us. For example, have a look at this house right here, or maybe this one right next to it. Incredibly local very very unique very traditional feeling yeah as naomi said a lot of you guys have commented down below that this is the place to come and try real malaysian food in fact it is supposedly the best place in kuala lumpur to have malaysian food so we're very excited to bring you guys along with us and to sort of dive into real local side of kuala lumpur let's do it and this type of an environment is really what gets us excited this is the whole reason why we are traveling to experience different cultures to see neighborhoods to talk to the locals and so on hi how are you and um, i'm sorry but i know kuala lumpur is a hyper developed uh, city with loads and loads of skyscrapers but skyscrapers are really not necessarily what makes a city or a culture or whatever location um, so special. Um, because if I want to see skyscrapers, I can go anywhere in the world. But if I want to see a local culture, I cannot go anywhere in the world. I have to come to this specific place. And I feel like that's a little bit what was missing for us um, these last two weeks, I want to say. So it is incredibly hot. As usual, we typically tend to get up in the mornings we do any sort of work that we have to get done whether it's editing or subtitles for these videos that you guys are watching and then we make our way outside to explore the area and that's exactly what we did today right now it is currently around i think three o'clock in the day so sun is literally at its highest right now and let me tell you something guys it's very very hot so we saw this place here it's called me sedap corner and uh, we got ourselves a nice seat in the shade and we quickly ordered two iced coffees to try and cool ourselves down and we also ordered some bakso as well so let's see what we can get up to today this is only the beginning we're gonna try and um, experience as much as we possibly can here today in Kampung Baru very very excited <laughs> Now, as Luke said, it's three in the day and we didn't, haven't had anything to eat other than just black coffee. So we decided to go with two iced coffees and a bakso. Now, this is a very, very good coffee. Sorry, it went down the wrong point. <laughs> but let's give this beautiful looking bakso a try. Now, this one seems to have a little bit of chicken on the top some very nice looking noodles, some bean sprouts, and then obviously the meatballs, which identify this entire dish as the bakso. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. I think we will have to order a second one. This one here is so much better than the bakso that we tried before. Oh my God. This is unbelievable. Yeah. This is really, really good bakso and um, it's only six ringgits from what I saw, so it's just a little bit over a euro. I believe the last time we had a bakso it was like 20 ringgits or something like that and it was much inferior to this one. Mm. And we even got some sambal to accompany the bakso because obviously the bakso by itself 
It's not necessarily spicy. Now I want to sprinkle it a little bit over this and uh, then give it a second try. Mm. Oh. This is like the green chili spice. So it's, um, it's not, you know, the way the red chili seem to be a little bit more on the tip of your tongue and maybe in the throat. The green chili, I feel like, contaminates your entire tongue with that spiciness and it's a beautiful spiciness. The last time we had a green uh, sambal that tastes anything remotely like this was in like rural Mexico. So I really appreciate the sambal. It's super, super good. I'm so happy. Oh my God. Mm. The first time that we tried this actual dish, the bakso, um, it was in, I believe, one of our, yeah, one of our very first videos actually. I believe it was our very first video in Kuala Lumpur. And um, it was more of like a large scale production, like it was a very, very busy food court type of a setting in the central market. You're not going to get the same quality of food somewhere like a food court in a mall um, as you would here in a very local area that caters directly to the locals and to local taste. So very, very excited to try this. I think I'm going to give it a quick little taste for you guys as well, just so I can see the difference here. Um, we also we have so many more dishes to try. Bakso, the reason why we went and ordered it here is just because we have tried it before, as I said, and uh, we didn't really understand what the hype was, but now here we wanted to try it again and then directly compare it to that mall experience. So let's give it a try. I'm gonna go straight in with a meatball here, maybe some noodles there as well. Now Naomi added the, the green chili sambal in there too, so I'm very excited to get some of that spice in there too. Oh my God, wow, incredible. Okay, so the, the broth there in the soup is really, really rich and full of flavor. I can already taste that green chili flavor from the sambal. This is in every way superior to anything that we have eaten so far in Kuala Lumpur. And that says, it says a lot because we had amazing food at the Taman Konok Night Market, which you would have seen the video just before this. But this here blows everything out of the water. So I'm very, very excited now to see what else we can experience food-wise here in Kampong Baru. Amazing, really good. And the coffee is really strong too. So it's cooling us down and it's also keeping us wide awake as well. I think we might have to order a second bakso. I think so too. Now that was a quick stop at the Mi Sedap corner. Now I don't know what Mi means, but a Sedap corner is tasty corner basically. And uh, it was very, very tasty. We only paid like I believe 13 ringgits altogether. So it's insanely affordable and a very, very good place. Very tasty place. What I wanted to say is that I read online and some forums that the government here in Kuala Lumpur is actually looking at flattening this entire neighborhood and um, creating more space for skyscrapers, so to speak. Now those rumors or those um, things that I was reading, those things that I was reading, they were quite old. I don't know how up to date that is. Um, if somebody of you has any uh, insight into that and would uh, please update us on all of this because I would be very very interested in um, understanding a little bit more about this because obviously this is creating issues for the community that does live here and uh, it's such a nice and beautiful charming community I would be very very sad if this little village um, would cease to exist in the middle of Kuala Lumpur. Right away the biggest thing that jumps out for me personally is everybody here in Kampung Baru is very smiley very open and literally greeting us as we're walking around. That doesn't happen in 
actual outskirts or the sort of center hyper developed areas of Kuala Lumpur because people have busy lives, people are working, people are going places, people are busy. Here in Kampung Baru, it seems like we're still in the center of Kuala Lumpur, very much in the center of the city, but life just slows down and it is just very, very relaxing and very positive. Just looking around and seeing the towering Patronus towers above this area, it is a little bit intimidating, a little bit daunting. I would love to get an insight or some sort of an understanding into how the locals here feel being surrounded by such a fast moving, fast developing society and city in general. I'm not saying that these people are in any way separate from that society, but it must feel strange being here in the center of such a developed city and being in such a local residential feeling area where a lot of these houses have been here for such a long time. It's very, very interesting. And uh, yeah, the contrast couldn't really stand out much more than what it is right here. And now if you have a look here, this house right here, for example, you have beautiful, what looks to be entirely wooden apart from the roof and then directly behind it you have the Petronas towers and some skyscrapers and then just across the street from this house you have this absolutely gorgeous wooden house here too and again backdropped by i believe a five-star hotel and maybe some high-rise office buildings it is very very interesting to to be standing here i actually find it quite nice because this village within kuala lumpur or little neighborhood within kuala lumpur it kind of seems like um, everybody knows everybody so us walking around you can actually see the people looking at us and being like okay obviously we're white well it's no no surprise there but uh, you you can tell that the people really look at you and they they know exactly this is not the neighborhood where you're usually in and the people are really really curious as to why you're here what you're doing and so on and uh, that didn't happen anywhere else in Kuala Lumpur and I find it quite a nice change because it's not as anonymous as the big city is basically but you're still in the big city kind of <laughs> Hello, uh, two, la two nasi lemak. Two nasi lemak? Yeah. Or chicken, chicken sauce, chicken rendang? Uh, beef rendang. For me, uh, beef, beef rendang. Beef rendang? Yeah. And the chicken rendang. Yeah. Thank you. It looks really good. Thank you. Thank you. Let's get an iced tea. Let's get an iced tea. Ice. Yeah. I see, I see tea, milk tea. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hello. Uh, Can we have uh, two iced tea? Two iced tea. And two water. Two water. Yeah. Okay, so we made our way into the famous Nasi Lemak. Wanjo, and uh, we've seen this commented on so many different YouTube channels that have come to the area of Kampung Baru. And we also got a few comments ourselves under our videos when we tried Nasi Lemak in the last place where we had it, which was in the Pavilion Mall food court. This is going to be a very, very different experience for sure. This is much more authentic, much more real, um, and sort of a down-to-earth understanding and um, showcasing, I guess, of real Malay cuisine and real authentic nasi lemak. So, very excited to see what all the hype is about. We even had actually a couple of grab drivers and taxi drivers tell us to come here and try the nasi lemak. So I basically went for nasi lemak with beef rendang and Naomi went for nasi lemak with chicken rendang so we're going to sort of compare the two see how they taste very 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 excited and we also went for there's a kid with squeaky shoes that's running around us right now it's really cute 
You're never gonna lose that kid with its shoes. We also got some amazing looking iced tea here as well. So let's give this a try. It is, as I said earlier, incredibly hot out. So cheers. Yo. 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 This is really good, very refreshing. Exactly what we need because wow yeah it's a scorcher we have some nice iron uh, some nice cold water as well to help wash down this incredible looking food hands are nice and clean freshly washed um, now i'm saying that because this is the very first place in malaysia where you do not get cutlery we uh, like everybody's just eating with their hands and it seems to be the authentic and uh, traditional way to eat the food here so hands it is we're no strangers to eating with hands. Might not look like it. Just gonna take a nice big chunk of that juicy chicken. No. Mix some rice, some, uh, what is it? Dried fish. <laughs> and mix it nicely together. I didn't do this in quite some time, but let's give the nasi lemak chicken rendung a try. Rendang. Very coconutty rice. Now the red samba is a little bit spicy, but it's not too spicy. So it's your typical red chili samba type of paste. And the rice is beautiful and the chicken is very juicy. Now the, um, it has a curry on top, so it has a curry type of flavor to it. Mm. This is really good. Surprisingly good, very tasty, amazing. Super happy with this. We also got a boiled egg. It's a boiled egg. It tastes <laughs> the same everywhere. <laughs> it's nice though. <laughs> yeah, it looks absolutely amazing. And uh, now, I think I'm going to move on to mine. I'm going to give it a try. I am um, try was trying very very hard to to sit and watch Naomi eating. It's a very very difficult when I have something like this placed in front of me. This sambal looks incredible again the hard boiled egg the beef rendang beautiful coconut flavored rice there too and then we also have this amazing um dried fish and these bad boys here too let's go let's give it a try nasi lemak beef rendang beautiful sambal we are ready to dive in i'm just gonna go in here with my right hand and let's do it so this beef rendang here looks absolutely incredible. Really, really flavor rich and very, very sort of juicy and tender as well. I'm gonna pop that onto my rice. Maybe get some of this delicious looking sambal in there too. Mix it in nicely and sort of pinch it all together into one delicious bite. Here we go. Get out of here. This is incredible. I literally said about the last place that we tried here in Kampong Baru that the dish blows everything out of the water. This blows that out of the water. It's like everywhere we go here in Kampong Baru, we're more and more impressed by the food. This is out of this world. Sambal, sambal is nice and spicy but it's not so spicy that it's going to sort of take away from the incredible flavor of the nasi lemak. The flavor profiles that are going on in here are something else. The beef rendang, this is actually the first time in my life that I've ever had a rendang of any kind. It's incredible. I'm not even sure what exactly they are basting the beef in, but wow, the flavors are out of this world. I'm gonna go for one more bite. Um, I just cannot let this sit down for long at all. I wanna have it while it's hot and good. Beautiful sambal there. Quite a lot of egg. Amazing. This is next level. 
next level. You have to come here. Turns out, by the way, if you want to have cutlery in the Vanyo place, they do have cutlery. We just didn't see it at all and a lot of people were eating with their hands so we opted for the traditional way if you will but the food was absolutely amazing super super tasty very fresh and um, for everything so for two waters two tea and two nasi lemak we paid 31 ringgits which is I believe just around six euros so very affordable and super fresh and tasty uh, definitely a thumbs up from us there and here you have an absolutely beautiful arch into Kampong Baru. This is very, very beautiful, very gorgeous. And you have the amazing call to prayer in the background going yeah. on too. I just wanted to say, this is actually the first time in Malaysia that we hear the call to prayer. Uh, I was kind of waiting for it because I love that time of the day when you can hear the, hear the call to prayer and we don't hear that at all in our neighborhood so it's really nice to actually see a little bit and hear and feel the culture and tradition of Malaysia in this part. Can we get some smoothies? Smoothies? Uh, like this one. Uh, manga susu. Manga susu. What, uh, one for me. Huh? One watermelon. One. Tebi kai. Tembi kai. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Very excited to try some of this fresh Super excited. fruit smoothies. And it's the perfect dessert because I don't know why, like the weather says it's colder today than yesterday, but it feels a lot hotter, so I don't know why. It does. Uh, it's a, it was supposed to rain, but it's not, and I suppose it has to do something with that. Like the humidity is very high, like high uh, t pressure, yeah. I wouldn't say. But this looks absolutely amazing. I need to get used to the one ringgit having the similar color to the 50 ringgit. So I keep wanting to pay with one ringgit and then it's like, oh, that's not enough money. <laughs> <laughs> just have a look at how cool this looks. The lovely uncle just handed me this. I am truly blown away. You get a spoon and you get a straw, you get juice and you also get some very beautiful looking mango topped off on top of a beautiful mango smoothie. Wow, this is definitely going to cool me right down. Did you, did you see his t-shirt? <laughs> it says no shoes, no shirt, no pants, no problem, we deliver. We deliver. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Very cool. Which one are you getting? You're getting the watermelon shake? I'm getting tembikai. Tembikai. Oh, watermelon, yeah. Nice. <laughs> He's currently cutting it up. It looks very fresh and very nice there. It's only like around five ringgit per drink. One euro. One per euro drink. per drink. Naomi's looks equally as cool as mine. Just a different color. Ah, yes, this is the perfect thing for this weather because it replenishes, it rehydrates, it has a little bit of sugar, so you get the watermelon sugar. Hi! Beautiful afternoon. This afternoon couldn't be any better. Now, this watermelon shake was just a sprinkle on top of the cupcake, I want to say. <laughs> really good. So I got what's basically known as a manga susu, or a mango version of what Naomi has. I'm currently picking it up now. Looks absolutely incredible. Let's give it a try. It's very thick and wow. She's thick. She's thick and she's incredibly delicious. This is amazing. So refreshing. Mango is so creamy, beautifully ripe, blended to perfection as well. And you have these beautiful chunks of mango on top. I put my spoon conveniently into my pocket so I can snack on my mango as soon as I'm done with this incredible smoothie. Oh wow, this is really 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 good. 
What I really appreciated as well is that he didn't add any additional sugar. So in a lot of places, especially in Southeast Asia, you do get a little bit of sort of like sugar syrup on top of your smoothie, juices, any type of drink pretty much is with, topped up with a sugar syrup. And this one is just straight up fruit. Or I think Luke's might have a little bit of yogurt in there or something like that. Um, yeah. But this couldn't get any better and it's not too sweet, thank God. Amazing, 10 out of 10. If you happen to be very close to the Kampung Baru Arch, that's where you're gonna find these guys. Just across from Papa Kanafa, or Papa Kunefe, just across the road here. Um, if you see that, you see the juice place across the road, grab yourself a quick juice. This is amazing. Wow, okay, so if there's one thing that we can take away from this video and from our day here at Kampung Baru, it is that it's made us so much more excited to explore the rest of Malaysia outside of Kuala Lumpur. This is such a beautiful place and the people are amazing. 100% couldn't agree more and uh, the people that live in this neighborhood should really peacefully <laughs> fight to keep this community and neighborhood going because it's such a special place. We yep. enjoyed every single second of our day here today and if you ever do come to Kuala Lumpur, make sure to come out here, in here, not even out here, it's in the middle of Kuala Lumpur and uh, support the locals here because it's a very small community and I do think a little bit of tourism uh, couldn't hurt anybody here. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And um, one thing I will say, this genuinely has been the best food and the best atmosphere and the best everything really since we have arrived here in Malaysia. It's so authentic, it's so down to earth and it's definitely worth your time. So yeah, come and check this place out. Um, but for now, my name is Luke. My name is Naomi. We're the two mad explorers. And this is your reminder to keep exploring. See you guys in the next Malaysian adventure. Terima kasih for watching. Terima kasih. Bye bye. bye. bye.